with tea quilts and I'm here to do a new journey with you today today is the first day that I'm starting a new series of videos I don't know exactly how I'm going to word the series yet but it's all about quilting studios and I will be visiting a few of my quilting friends studios and I will be sharing them with you and I'm doing this number one because some people do have beautiful workspaces and I just want to show you some possibilities if you are redoing your studio as well as I hope to find someone who does have small workspaces and places where they just have to make things work I'm hoping that I can get a combination of both but um, yes so the road trip will be starting shortly and I will see you um, at the home sewing studio of Diana Ann and she doesn't want to be videotaped but she was very willing to show her space she has a beautiful space so I'm very excited about showing it to you so I'm going to do an aerial pan and then we'll talk about all the various things that she uses for storage and how her studio is set up And then in front of me is her cutting area and her ironing station. And then again, we go back along the wall. She's got various sewing areas set up. And then right here, we have another cutting area as well. And then here, she also included a bathroom in her studio downstairs so that's a, another that added bonus here which is great and we've got a door here so we won't we'll go into all of these various areas and show you what's going on so diana's going to do some explaining of her studio but she doesn't want to be videotaped so diana you've got beautiful storage here along these walls that you have these built in when you moved in or were they included here before well, the man who did my basement for me, um, he uh, suggested, I'll just put some shelves up here for you. And when I saw these shelves, I was just, I almost felt like hugging and kissing him. I was so excited <laughs> about it. And I just put a lot of my uh, fabric storage and my UFOs, my string containers, and which I have too many of, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and my... Um, applique and threads and it's amazing how much I had I didn't realize I had so much but, um, but I have a lot of everything in this area here that um, I'm just so pleased I have everything up here at this now you've been here for two months or no, three since months March. since March mm -hmm. okay and did your other area was it set up as neat is this or did you not have the space I just had a walk-in closet and it was just kind of all thrown in and it wasn't as well organized. I found out how to fold the fabric to where it fit the shelves and I went on Pinterest and all sorts of fabric folding websites and and just different areas just so I did it right the first time. I didn't have to keep redoing it. Right, because it's beautiful. And then she's got like even an area for all of her pre-cuts, which mm -hmm. is nice. Yeah. So she thought of everything in her storage. And that's what's so wonderful is 
that she thought of everything and storing everything and her spacing on her shelves are just beautiful. It's just that it just worked out magically and the nice that thing way. About, the nice thing about it too is he put uh, all daylight lights in here. So and so nice. I'm just showing you, I know you can't see a light's good on cameras, but she's got, I don't know, they're inset lights because they're not recessed. You don't have the lights hanging out of the ceiling. They're inside of the ceiling, but it's lit very well and it goes throughout her working area. You but can they're see. All, yeah, they're all daylight, so they're a white mm -hmm. light. And then Just all the beautiful. plugs I have extra power. Uh, Chris made sure that I he put every. So plug. when you had the home built, you asked for additional power? When they did the basement. Oh, yeah. when they did the basement. So you, it was all, you were already in and then had the basement made for your quilting studio. Awesome. Yeah, and I told Chris that I wanted at least one plug that, that I could hook up a, you know, a um, iron, iron and, and sewing machines. And so he decided, he, well, I'll just put every plug in for you and I'll okay. get the extra power, which was very really nice. Good. Okay. So now you're, we're going to talk about this whole side of this room here where you've got three sewing machines set up or they set up that you do particular projects on different types of machines or you just sew on the machine you like for the day or is there any um, method to this? Well, I just basically wanted to have extra machines in case someone wanted to come up and they didn't have to bring their own machine. Okay. This table here is for my um, uh, embroidery for my Bernina. Our Bernina is up there. It's so heavy, and so but I ended up being a um, holding area for a lot of my projects mm -hmm. until you need it for that, and then mm -hmm. you can do it. So these are your current things you're currently working on. Yeah. And so, so you keep these out, mm -hmm. and then if you need to embroider, then you move these. Now, this machine is a what? That's a 1591, and um, I just kind of have it, and I wanted to get it out of the uh, container just to get it out. And I do. Do you sew on it? Yeah, everyone's. I think they're great for string piecing because yeah. you don't have to be as accurate on there. So if you're not accustomed to sewing on the old singers, which I'm not, it's, so I tend to string piece with mine a lot. It's better than my uh, Bernina. I like it much better. Wow. So. And then she also has one of those sewing chairs as well where it has the storage. Just put yeah. your hand in. I won't put your face. And she can do the storage in there. So that's pretty nice too that she has a chair. And I actually sat in a chair and it really does catch you right in your lower back here. Very good support. And I just got this chair here at Office Max. This is a good one too. So she says she got this one at Office Max. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm hoping you can hear. Her. But, and then this is the machine. Is this the one you normally come to class with? No, when we do I scrap just, club. I had it, and I just decided to keep it here. Okay. And my other—that's one upstairs. Okay, so you have another one upstairs. Okay. And this is my main sewing machine, which I'm not that great, that real and happy with. And then I just so. want to show you her actual work setup. Okay. This is her main one, and so she's got containers here that she's got her various notions in: threads, rotary cutter blades, mm -hmm. etc. And then she's got her work area set up with her computer so she can <laughs> watch you. It's a TV? Yeah. TV. So it's a TV here that's set up in her workstation as well. And then she comes around to a desk. It's, what desk is this? It's a they, Tracy table. It's a what? Tracy table. Tracy table. I have not yeah. heard of that company. I thought you was going to say another company. Yeah. Very nice. And it has the insert, and you can get them in any style. You can, you know, if you have. A, so you tell them what model machine, and yeah. then they. So is it Tracy T R A C E Y or yes. T R? Okay, so thank and you. They're not as expensive as a koala. Okay, you said it. I didn't. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to get people confused, but I'm glad you said it because that's what it looks like when you first see it. What another feature I like about the table is the rounded corners here. And so you don't have to worry about getting poked. This goes like this. And this goes... All right, Diana. Well... <laughs> no, maybe I can't. Maybe because this... Yeah. Oh, because you had the... Your uh, portable things in it a way. It would help if I didn't have everything. Oh, there's two of them here. 
she's trying to show you how the table sides will let down there so if you go. didn't have the space for that you could let those arms down and we just moved those from underneath then, so that's why they're then this thing not cooperating and then she said also this top part will let down if you want it smaller but you know as quilters we, we buy all of these products and we want to use all of those features because that's why we buy it for the convenience of yeah, those features so. so it's really nice and then it has additional drawers here so I'm not representing any of these companies I'm just showing you Sorry. what she has and that it's working for her So I'm, we're gonna, I'm just gonna walk back to the, okay. we'll talk about your cutting areas now and your press station. Okay. So you have additional cutting setup. You've got, I'm sure one that you use the most and then you again have other setups. So if your friends come over, everybody has the appropriate space. Is that the reasoning behind your cutting areas where you've got three set well, up here? This mainly is if I'm, looking for fabric on the on the shelves here and I pull it out and I want some place to rest it. Okay. And then I want to lay it out to see like here I'm just you know seeing how I like this layout and it's just basically for a table to lay things out or also to cut things but um, okay. mainly for a, another counter. Okay. Type. Okay. And then this is where you have your larger mats. Yes. And you've got two of those as well. Mm -hmm. So if you got a friend over, you both got good size cutting areas. Yes. Please ignore all of this stuff. This is my stuff. She's very neat. <laughs> and then this is her actual pressing station where she has a big board on top of the ironing board. Mm -hmm. And and I didn't know where to put this. Ladies and gentlemen, she's using a Toastmaster iron. She's learned probably, like the rest of us, yeah. that it doesn't matter how much you spend for an iron, you're going to go through them if you're a prolific quilter. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad about that. Yeah. You showed that. And her tables, her cutting tables are up on the bed risers as well. And she even has little stand mats underneath if you want to stand on them. But um, she's got beautiful flooring, so, and it feels good, so. But yeah, just thought I would share that. And then the last thing in this room, or almost the last thing in this room, she's got almost, I don't know, do you know the width of this room? <laughs> it's about a uh, 15 foot. Okay, and she has, I'm going to just guess and say that at least 12 feet of it is this design wall, which yeah. is just beautifully, beautifully done and just lots and lots of space you most definitely can have more than one project on it it is beautiful yes. so thank you with that are you planning to put these design walls up or just leave these as lay against the wall design walls i don't know yet i'll those probably are, just leave them those are beautiful too and this whole container here <laughs> is is that orphan blocks too yes and then she has another one here that is also orphan blocks. And this is the stuff we just moved from under the table. Diana is very neat and organized, but she was wanting to show you how this table let up and down. So she's got to put that back. Now, Diana, I didn't see any rulers. Can you oh, yes. share that with me? Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> this is another little room of the basement, as everyone else knows, where the... Um... I don't have you on. You can keep going. <laughs> and this is where you know all the the thing where your your um things for the things there, but anyway. This is my pigboard, which I love. And that's where all my rulers are. And it's beautiful, it's huge. It's at least Six foot five. Okay, so it's six foot. I was about to say five. I'm counting the spaces in between. But yes, that's that was a great idea. And most times we have all the specialty rulers. You don't need them all the time in your immediate sewing area. So she came on the outside of it to put that here. And then she's also planning to add another one here that's going to hold a lot of her embroidery machine supplies. The hoops, uh, stabilizer she has on this particular table, things like that. So she's very organized. So this is the area where she's still working on. Okay. So 
So we got that part. Mm -hmm. And we now have this area here that has a double door. And so you're wondering like, what's in here, Diana? Can you show us what's in here? <laughs> what is it <laughs> and just a global view now this room isn't finished and she was concerned about showing it but i explained to her that this is sufficient for what she's doing in here it's not a space where she's in here all the time i think it's beautifully done she has to give you a quick aerial view first on this side of the wall take note down there we'll be going down there she's got a workstation here and storage here as well as some storage here. Okay, so we'll start on this wall. Can you explain the fabric that's in this particular room or what's the storage in this room? This is a storage that won't fit on storage in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> but so. this is the, uh, my strings again. Okay. Which and you sort your stuff. strings by color, is that what you do as well? Yes, I decided to do it that You're way. the second person that I've met that actually stored her strings by color. I'm too lazy to do that. Well, but, I decided to do that. But it's pretty cool. And then these are patterns here. Okay. Um, this uh, Some projects that I've not finished. Okay. Um, some material that I just And you've got a lot of wool as well. Yeah. That's a container wool. And I see you've got yarn. Do you crochet as well or knit? knit yeah. Okay. And also uh, there's um, flannel which I don't you really use a lot so I just decided to keep it here. Some stabilizers. Um, just beautiful. Just some, yeah. Stabilizers up in the containers and she's got them labeled so she know what's in them. Um, the nice thing is most of her containers are clear so she can see in them as well and then she's got I used, more pre-cuts here I used to buy charm squares all the time and jelly rolls but I don't do that anymore okay I just decided not to do that so. yeah and, and so as we come down this is the cut through where we saw the ruler so like again this is the unfinished part of the basement and it's okay and it's nice and clean and it's suitable for her storage and then this is where she stores her books and all magazines. books and magazines here mm -hmm. okay just beautiful and she's got the appropriate storage for it so what are these shelvings because you've got quite a bit of these I got these in California from a gal that used to own a quilt shop. Okay. It used to be um, these shelves here will, will fold back and then uh, bolts of fabric used to come on these. Oh. In, in a fabric store. Okay. And she had sold her shop and she was selling these here and I bought four of them. Wow. And then um, someone gave me one. Okay. So very then, nice eventually that's why they look so official <laughs> yeah, then eventually I'm going to get a pallet in here to get all these cardboard boxes off the floor so these are yeah this is just storage boxes that she doesn't want to get rid of yeah. if you ever are trying to sell something or move it's best to have the original boxing for mm -hmm. things that cost a little bit of money so it's a good idea to keep your extra storage especially the Bernina sewing machine box mm-hmm because yeah. I keep mine too I have a storage bin I put them in I mean a storage shed this is another quilting sewing table mm -hmm. that she's not using right now she no longer has the machine it was I have it upstairs or she has it upstairs and so she's not using the table but it's another nice storage another because you can use this as a wide piece as well on the back right yeah so it's a very nice table so if she ever wants to expand more out there she's already got another table and then more <laughs> books and magazines no magazines here these are the ones that i use the most these okay. magazines here i try to keep the ones i use most closer to where i and do you have them work. organized by issue yeah okay. i usually have them at least grouped Okay. together mm -hmm. so you can if you're looking for something sometimes yeah. you're on the internet and you might hit somebody's blog and go oh that's pretty and they go oh that's in uh, American Quilter 2014 yeah. and then you go okay I got that and it's easy to come <laughs> find so you're very organized with that and then you were telling me before I started videotaping that this is your 
your gold storage area mm -hmm. and you were talking about expanding on this can you just tell them what your plans are i'm going to be getting um a bookcase and uh, put the dies and everything on it because i really can't it's hard for me to see what i have because these are all uh, when i moved i put a lot of it in, you know to, to store them so they wouldn't get dusty and everything but now i don't really you have to take them out and pull out the things to see what you have mm -hmm. so it's hard to see what you have so i'm going nice. to do a little bit better so i can at a glance can see okay and then you have her this is her actual gold storage her die cutting area so she just leaves this set up and this is what i was saying about if you have a go cutter and or any type of die cutting system and you are not using it it's probably because you don't have it set up and it's easier to come use something when you have a dedicated space for it and it's true you and then set up. she also has some these are more scrap storage here just yeah extra material that and uh, then she's got two on this side she can sit here if she wants to think about something she has a little small area sometimes when you're doing die cutting you may have a spot or two where the blade doesn't cut or you want to cut a fabric down to an approximate size instead of just slapping on a whole fat quarter so she's got cutting stuff here so very good idea Thank here you. with cutting that up again she can sit and then she's got two more of her fabrics stored here that she can use as well so and then just got her current idea books or just sitting here very nice you are so organized and you've oh. thought about each workspace and what that workspace needs and I that's what's, that's them. what's really wonderful so let's go back out in your main area <laughs> Just beautiful. She even has a little baby go down there. <laughs> and I'm just going to do one last thing. When she did her workstations, if you notice, they're all kind of angled so that she has a view on the outside. So again, she can kind of see out the window. And then the window also helps give you bright daylight as well so even though her studio is in the basement she's got so many windows it's actually a walkout basement so it doesn't feel like you're actually in a basement but this is diana's studio i want to personally thank diana for allowing us into her space as i said again i'm hoping this is the first of a series of videos so if you like diana's studio please comment Please um, share anything that you feel like you may can use in your storage room or your quilting studio. And thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.